Hello, welcome back. I'm just poking around and I noticed that, which <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be able to see from here. But, uh, I'm curious what that leads to, actually. I <laughs> think it goes through the wall. I don't know why it lets me see that. Uh, yeah, I'm just pointing my cursor around trying to see if there's anything I can see to connect to. Oh. Yeah, see, it, it's, it's stuff through the wall, apparently. Wait, there's a deselect now. Interesting, so now I can deselect individual things. I definitely couldn't do that in the beginning of the game. But I can do it now? When did they add that? Or has that always been there and I just never noticed? Because I have to look at it specifically to deselect it, otherwise it says deselect all, and that's the thing you have to hold down. And that's just deselect individual. Interesting. Yeah, that's... I'm looking at stuff inside the puzzle, basically. <laughs> uh, what else is there to connect to, though? What else has a vantage point, really? I hope it doesn't involve the, uh, the gold puzzles, because I can't do those yet. It would be weird to lock the star behind that, right? I'm not seeing anything. All right. <laughs> I'll just leave that there for now. We can always move it again if needed. Hope is that maybe the accumulator can somehow see this? Go check on that, I suppose. What's actually the fastest way there? Uh, I guess this way, maybe. Yeah, that kind of works. Do not fall in the water, because that would be terrible. Uh, but yeah, I feel like we're so close, but I just... Can't get good angles on these things. <laughs> yep, that's coming from over there. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Right through the ground, apparently. I don't know why those connections are even available through the ground like that. I guess it's one-directional collision mesh or something. Couldn't do anything up here. I'm not seeing any... any other places, like, any other connectors on peaks or anything. Nothing out here, really. At least we have... high hopes for that, anyway. Did this reset? I thought I already did this one. No, it's already done. Why are these gates up again? Is it supposed to be like that? Hmm. Yeah, this barrier is down at least. I don't 
need to worry about that, really. Let's leave that there, actually. This has another alternate way back up in case they mess things up up here. Yeah, give me this, please. Alright, what can we see? Oh, we don't have any good angles here. <laughs> Isn't that a shame? Yeah... Can't see it from here. Okay. Well. Wait, what changed this? What did change this? Excuse me? How do I get out of here now, actually? Uh, I don't understand why that's closed now. But I change. Oh, that button. That's right. Okay. I forgot. Alright, let's get out of here. here, right? Yeah, no. Definitely not. to break a test element out or something? I'm not sure how I could do so. What am I missing?
What is that? Oh, that's... Yeah, okay. Here's another question. How do I actually get down to it? I think I already did once, right? Now we gotta go around the long way a bit. Can't cross there. We have a shortcut here, at least. Didn't know about that. Can't cross here. There's the barrier in the purple fizzler. And it almost seems like you might be able to get some kind of line of sight, just barely. Uh, doesn't seem likely, though. It'd be quite precise. I'll try it, though. It's the only thing I can think of. What do we have here? Any hidden secrets? Oh, just a shoreline, I guess. out. Oh? What is that? It might be easier to... Hmm. Maybe we should put the other one on ground level. Right, because there's no connectors in here, right? Yeah, no, no connectors. I don't think there's a way to break anything out of here either. Can I do anything about that? It's not letting me press E on it. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything about that. It's just an old airplane trying to look at things. I guess this is the way back from here if you fall down here. Maybe there's a flame around here.
Doesn't look like it, though. You could almost walk on that, but I don't think so. Not seeing any flames around here. Nor anything to connect to, for that matter. do this, I'll need to put this stuff down here because I won't have a way back up otherwise. Yeah, that's my only way to get back in there now. Just barely, maybe? That would be super precise, honestly. I don't know if we can make that work. Hopefully it's not something in the lab that'll help me. Likely. What am I missing? Not many puzzles have connectors, and I don't really see ways to break things out of other ones. I mean, if you could break a connector out, then it would trivialize this stuff anyway. Yeah, it's just all blocking it in the wrong way, isn't it? I will spend the whole episode in this and more, if necessary. Drop here. Of course, because why why would we? Wait, that's different. I don't remember that being possible before. Wait. I don't know if that's intended, but I'm going to take it. Because normally you can't do that, right? Hmm. It also kind of... Well, I don't know, it, it's... 
it's strange. I don't know, it's just... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if that's intended or not. I very well might be breaking things here. Alright, well, let's, let's get this back up. Unless I can get an angle here. Oopsie. Hey! <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's intended, but I'll take it. Then we gotta get over there. Uh, sure, let's take this route, because why not? Ah, uh, come on now, please. Here we go. I'm probably missing something, but my solution works. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's unintended because we didn't need to use that connector there at all. So, whatever I'm doing here, it's completely bypassing that entirely. I'm glad it still works. Because technically they could have scripted it to only check for that one getting a connection. So yeah, definitely not intended. If humankind had no more cause for war, it would make war for sport instead. Maybe. Some people would try to. I mean, we have war games already and sports already. Alright, lab time. I need to go around a long way. I'm just glad we finally figured that a way to do that. Ah. <laughs> uh. No idea what the intended way is. Do please tell me in the comments what the intended way is. I would like to know. Because, uh... Obviously, I could not figure it out. Even with the FOB of 90, it still feels quite impressive. these relaxation areas. Music. Ooh, pretty. I wonder if they had animals in here or something. Or if it was just nature. Just trees. Oh, you startled me! <laughs> Look at this place. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mesmerizing. That's how it lures you in, I think. You see all these beautiful things and your imagination starts working overtime. And then the puzzles, the towers, the mysterious apparitions, it all draws you further in, deeper into the trap. What if that's the whole point of this place? What if every time you have one of those visions, another little bit of you is corrupted, overwritten with the hubris of this place? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to suggest you were... Uh, whatever it is I'm trying to say. I guess I'm just disappointed in myself. Byron needs me. You all need me to do my job, and I can't even use a terminal. If this is all really the work of the Founder, I don't know, maybe she lost her way. Or maybe we're just not ready. But once we find Byron, I suggest we get the hell out of here and never come back. Yep, he's still skeptical. <laughs> so, anti-gravity or magnets? Place your bets.
So there's the lower terminal, and here's the upper terminal. From Thecla to Athena. Beloved Founder, years have passed and still there is nothing but silence. Have we sinned? Have you abandoned us for our arrogance, our greed? Some of the others continue to build. I told them not to, but they didn't listen to me. Sorry, but they don't listen to me. Byron is the worst of them. He disrespects you constantly, spreading lies and... Please know that there are those who remain faithful, who respect the limits you sit, and seek wisdom and humility as you taught. We may win the next election. Perhaps then you will return? Praise your name, Thecla. <laughs> is Thecla the one that was really happy about Byron being hurt? I'm not a fan of Thecla. <laughs> From Trebuchet to Athena. Founder, although I was born in the early days of New Jerusalem, I never knew you well. This is not your fault. I became so focused on improving the dam that I didn't develop much in the way of social relationships, except perhaps with Melville. That doesn't mean I was unhappy. I was, in fact, extremely content. I like to solve complex problems in peace and quiet. That's who I am. But now the pleasure I used to get out of my work has faded. I may not need a lot of company, but I want my work to be meaningful, to contribute. It does not feel like that anymore. And when I suggest new projects, the mayor acts like I've committed a crime. Like I should be ashamed. I do not like this. I do not care about social issues or debates. I do not want to get, I do not want to get involved. I just want to be able to keep working on making things better. Please fix this situation. Oh, Tabuche. I'm sorry. Paying the price. From the introduction to portraits... Of the Martyrs by S.T. Sanyal. The list of people condemned for advocating new ideas is long and depressing. Ignaz Similways utterly destroyed for suggesting... Wait, what? I guess that's a more modern usage of the word destroyed? Ignaz Similways utterly destroyed for suggesting doctors wash their hands. Ludwig Boltzmann ridiculed for... Oh, okay. I'm completely misunderstanding how to read this. This is things happening to people, so... That person was destroyed for suggesting the monster to Dr. Han, Lodebone was ridiculed for suggesting the existence of atoms, Robert H. Goddard mocked for arguing that a rocket could reach the moon. Al-Razi attacked for questioning the existence of humors. Barbara... McCl mm, McClintock's discovery of transportation ignored for years. Transposition, sorry, ignored for years. The list goes on and on, and we haven't even touched on what happens to those who suggest political rather than scientific improvements. Even when they succeed, they often still pay with their lives. These days, the idea of progress is frequently derided as yet another narrative, identified with the establishment by critics who curiously portray themselves as rebels. But the truth is that every step forward that humanity has ever taken has come at enormous personal cost. Miranda says, that means it's even more important to stand up for the truth because so many others have already sacrificed themselves for it. Athena says it does, but what is the right way of doing it? Many have died for the truth without accomplishing anything. Yeah. Miranda says maybe we just have to do what's right and trust the universe. Ah, uh, that's quite a complicated problem. <laughs> <laughs> From Suya. Dear Founder, everything has gotten so much worse since you left. We keep pursuing the goal, but our lives are getting less happy. When the weather is dry and the dam runs low, there is nothing to do in the whole city. Things don't get fixed anymore. We even had to dismantle the cinema. I know it was frivolous and pointless when we can just watch video files, but it was fun to go watch movies together like people used to. I believe in your wisdom, Founder. I believe we have to avoid hurting the planet like our ancestors did. But I don't know if the mayor is doing what you would have wanted. Isn't there another way of reaching the goal? Please, I know you left her reason, but I don't think we can go on this way. Talos Principle 2b. A fragment from Stratton's On the Universe. Amentus, you have made quite the catalogue of horror, Stratton. Children dying in their mother's arms, cities perishing by the plague, and even animals living without peace or happiness. Yokomakas, why must we listen to this? You know I have just eaten a heavy dinner. Strat. Because these things, which are ugly, must be confronted for us to reach the truth. 
You spoke of justice earlier, Amentus, but are these things just? Amentus, they are not. Strat, then you must admit the universe itself is not just. If the gods exist, then they do not bend the world to their will. Rather, the universe proceeds as a machine following its rules. Justice and virtue are human inventions. Amentus, are you saying justice and virtue are therefore illusory and should be abandoned? Stratton, the opposite, my friend. It is mankind alone that can impose these values upon this machine. Footnotes. It remains unclear whether Stratton believed in the gods or used them solely as metaphors. His work on the deities is no longer extant. Tantalizingly, Diogenes Lartius, uh, Lartius mentions that it caused a fistfight in the Lyceum. <laughs> uh, Athena says, I thought what made us human was that we search for meaning, but perhaps a better way of thinking about it is that we create meaning. Uh, Noema Project 8. Trials. More corruption. There is a pattern underneath. Blah, blah, blah. Trials. New primary site. Interesting. Lake water for cooling. Ooh, so that's that's the heat that Yakut noticed. ancestors kept telling themselves that the brevity of their lives didn't matter. But they had so little time to ever really think about anything. I've spent several human lifetimes studying this mystery and only now am I beginning to see. The simulation was built on top of material reality, unable to escape its constraints. In the same way, physics as we understand it, even quantum physics, is built on top of a deeper reality. A set of rules that define existence itself. There is a universal language of creation. And I think we can learn it. The language of creation. What were they doing here? And how far did they get? I can't answer that, but I think I'll fix the Tetromino bridge machine ring thing. I say I think because it's not in the schematics. And what I'm doing is hack work at best. Try it and see if it works. Thank you, Melville. All right, let me double check our progress here. 8 out of 8 main puzzles, 2 out of 2 lost puzzles, can't do the gold yet, 1 out of 1 lost labs, 2 out of 2 stars. Excellent. I've oh, decoded another file from the data stream. Listen to this. Mother and father think of our discoveries as a language. A code. But I think they're wrong. They're so caught up in the technical details of running the experiments and upgrading the machine that they're not paying attention to the patterns we're finding, to the symmetries, the harmonies, the melodies. The fundamental language of reality is a kind of music, and it's beautiful. Beauty is an inherent property of the cosmos. I love the way she looks at things. Me too. Though so, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Here we go. Welcome back, creature of clay. The forge burns bright, but the sky is troubled with clouds. A mortal has ascended Olympus without the permission of Zeus.
Your friend wanders in dreams, caught between moments. He stands upon the bridge between yesterday and tomorrow, his eyes fixed upon the surface of the sun, and so the workings of Olympus are disrupted. Pandora, fearing the wrath of the gods, has broken the paths to ascension. Only Prometheus can help you, for he has always favored humankind over the gods, and would see Olympus pass into your hands. But he is bound in the heart of the mountain. Break his chains, and he will show you the way. I think it's safe to assume that Olympus is the entity's term for the megastructure. It looks like our best chance of rescuing Byron is finding Prometheus and freeing him. How do you free a weird, glowing ghost thing? I suspect these entities exist within the megastructure systems. And what we're seeing is just how they manifest to communicate with us. I don't really care what they are. For now, let's play along. Yep, I think Melville's probably right. And that means we're gonna have to solve all the rest of the puzzles in order to free Prometheus, most likely. Alright. Should we drop off our stars first? Or go to Verdant Canyon? Canyon. Why did I say it weird? Uh Let's go ahead. You know, I always kind of resented Byron for being so charming and charismatic. The dashing explorer. And one of the first companions, too. Being the voice of caution is not a fun role to play. Always having to be the responsible one, the killjoy. The one who says, maybe that's too much. But sometimes, it is too much. It's not your fault, Al. In this area, we have an especially weird problem. Something in one of the labs is going completely bananas and I can't shut it down because I'm not, well, you. Come find me when you're ready. All right. What is it with the language libraries and bananas? <laughs> I like bananas. Bananas are good. They're tasty. They're good for showing the scale of objects. Uh, bananas are just great, you know? You can use them as a phone, even. at the compass. There's also the direction we came in from that had stuff, right? That's three. This water appears to be shallow, right? Yeah, it's shallow. Got a couple question marks in this direction. Whatever this one is, it's up above, it would seem. Okay, can't go to it right now, I suppose, then. Ooh, what do we have here? Ah. Here we go. This one's a star, but where is the connector for it? Where's the receptacle? Oh, it's on this side, really? Ooh, interesting. Wait, how did I not notice this <laughs> right above my head? Okay, well that's gonna be useful to take note of. 
get into this triangle puzzle. Question block. Grav shifter. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Question block. <laughs> oh, it's the excursion funnels from Portal 2. Interesting. Oh, I just barely placed a tad too high, huh? Maybe not. Okay. Yeah, that does about what I expected. Ooh yee! Now why does it stay there? Wait, what? Oh, that's interesting. It shows you what you're lining it up with. Wow, that's a that's a useful feature that Portal Two could use. Nice. Right, let's put that here, I suppose. Hmm. Although... I don't really see how this is gonna work, actually. Question block. Does it want us to hit it from below? Like, question block in Mario games? Is that what we're on about? Will that even work? Because I thought, I thought in the first game that didn't really never work out in our best interest. It does work! Really? Normally that just sends it flying off to one of the sides. It doesn't normally push it up. Interesting. Okay, now what? Right. Hey! <laughs> oh! So that's why the cube stays stuck. Interesting. Okay. If the language of creation is a kind of melody, maybe that's why we respond to music the way we do. Because we recognize something that can't be expressed in any other way. And when we play music, we participate in something ancient, in an, in an act of creation. So all this then. Yeah, that's another thing. How come the robots like the same kinds of music that humans did? Just because it was in the archive? Seems kind of suspect. But you know, one of those things where... Ah, but yeah, it's one of those things where... Not sure if it's, um... Just for the sake of being able to tell a compelling story, if you can forgive some of these oversight flaw things, you know? There we go, that works. What do we have up here? Ooh! Wait, what? What color does this want? Excuse me? It's normally green, right? But those don't work with green. Uh, that is most definitely green.
What kind of prick are you trying to pull on me here? Yeah, this is not gonna work. Uh... Strange... If we smuggle something else out, we could bring it in here, though. step up here with the fans and such. Interesting. This has no line of sight to anything, really, right? Oh, wait. It... No, yeah, it doesn't. So this is how we're gonna make the green, actually. We don't need the inverter to... Okay, I understand now. Things make sense now. So much running. One moment. Out of curiosity. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, that's fun. And it would work, actually. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. Right. Back to exploring. I like this music. Nothing out here on the compass. Nice, beautiful area, I suppose. Oh, what do we have here? Interesting.
No! <laughs> oh, okay. What if I just walk forward normally? Okay, good. Good, good, good. <coughs> oh, come on! Why didn't that work? Whoopsie! Oh, goodness! <laughs> I'm sure speedrunners are going to find all sorts of ways to abuse these. Um... Okay. Last time I just slid off of here, I suppose. Hey, a flame! See, this is why I like to explore even with the compass on. Oh yes, now we're getting places. We're high up in the rocks. So high that the trees are intersecting them. Wow. Puzzle or something else? That's a question mark. Maybe a terminal? This is a nice vantage point. The frame rate is a little bit poor when I'm looking in this direction, though. <laughs> this is a big area. Wow. check that out, then I'll go back because I want to double-check the RGB converter to make sure I can get it to both lasers successfully. At least it doesn't matter which later laser color we use, so that's nice. Terminal, here we go. South. From Miranda to Athena and Cornelius. Larger organisms from the northwestern plains are already moving into the rivers. I've seen frogs and dragonflies. The last generation of plants has really taken root, no pun intended, and is slowly transforming the desert. And yesterday, a bunch of seagulls showed up. With some more work, we could apply this anywhere, including Mars or Mercury or somewhere much further away. We could transform a lifeless, ro lifeless rock into a place teeming with life. We can make millions of dead worlds come alive. An Irrational Species from Enlightenment on the Prince Precipice by V.A. Malik. Human beings are deeply and inherently irrational. The claim goes, and on some level, it's hard to disagree. The most human behaviors are irrational and in a sense unnecessary. As animals, we don't need to write poetry, pay, pray, or observe the stars. But to view human history as largely irrational is to get it backwards. The problem with human history, corruption, the pragmatic everyday realities of mere survival to the cold logic of global real politic, is that it is in fact ruthlessly rational, corruption, Far too little space for irrational things like kindness or inspiration. Those who imagine that a return to a more rural, traditional form of living would be a romantic turning away from the tyranny of reason forget that there is no one more brutally rational than the farmer. It is a city that allows us the romance of the countryside. It is technology that allows us to appreciate nature. Corruption. The purpose of reason, ultimately, is to build frameworks within which we can be irrational. After we talked about science fiction, Alex gave me a book. Her favorite book, a novel called Athena. It's not exactly what I'm used to reading, but it's pretty good. 
And it really made me wonder how we're going to be perceived if this project works out. Are we going to be mythologized? Is Alexandra going to be this distant mythical figure instead of the real funny human person that she is? It's hard to imagine that we'll all have been dead for hundreds of years. <coughs> Man, I'm scared. I'm really scared. I don't want to die. Yeah, it seems like they've mythologized you all right. There we go. All right. Back to exploring. Actually, we might want to see what this can connect to first, just so we can get this out of the way with. Because I'm probably going to have to reset a puzzle or something at some point. And I don't want to have to redo all of that. Right there, huh? Well, could be that one. Could be this one. Let's see if this one has any red or blue in it. As a matter of fact, it does, and it has a vantage point. Okay, so this is Puzzle 2 Spiderweb. Interesting. There, please. Thank you. Sit back here. We. Hmm. Yeah, that seems about right. Is that intended? I do not know, but it seems like the only thing that makes sense, really. Anyway. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes! Yes! Let's go do it. Uh, let's finish the puzzle first, actually. That'll make my chapters easier. <laughs> Alright. Oh! Oh no! Uh, okay, that's easy to fix at least. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Okay, so partially intended for at least. Well, no, no, yeah, because we definitely do need to connect it from up there. Yeah, I, I broke it, but it still worked anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's go pick up the star, and then we shall continue exploring. Probably could have done all three at once, honestly. Or, I mean, connected the... the exit of the puzzle at the same time as this. Yay! The honest philosopher is rewarded with poison. The hypocrite is rewarded with power. Social media moment. Gravity manipulation. We've seen multiple cases of anti-gravity on the island. The potential industrial application of this technology are staggering. 
So many of the challenges we face in trying to build and balance gravity. Moving things, lifting things, keeping things steady. One could say that a significant part of human history has just been a long struggle with gravity. With anti-gravity, all of these processes would become simpler and safer. A victory for humankind, as Byron would undoubtedly say. Mm -hmm. I don't have a Sphinx in this area yet. Then again, it could also be one of those, uh... ...sparks that we have to chase. Oh! How did I miss you? <laughs> Another flame. I think there's like two per area at least, but I haven't found all of them in all the areas. And uh, they're not tracked as far as I can tell, other than in the top left corner, so I don't know which ones, which areas I'm missing ones from. My compass says there's a triangle puzzle in this direction, and there's also a question mark apparently. How come sometimes question- how come sometimes the triangle puzzles are already noted and other times I have to find them as a question mark first? What do we have here? Hmm? Wait, hold on a moment. <laughs> that jump here is a bit on the edge, isn't it? we have up here, huh? Anything? Maybe this is a place where a spark will go to eventually? That would be my guess. I'm not seeing anything up here just yet. Triangle... Oh, help Melville at the lab! Okay, that's what that triangle is. That's the objective triangle, not the triangle puzzle triangle. Oh, what did I tell you? Oh, okay, then.
I guess it's just giving me a lay of the land, leading me around to show me secret stuff. Getting me to look upward to see the, the trails up there. <laughs> yep, it's basically showing me around, giving me hints about how to solve the other star. Come on, I can't jump on this. It's probably the longest continuous version of this song we've heard. Oh, I need to get back up there. And the song is gonna end. No. Ah, oh, we saved it. We saved the song. Yay! Aha. Yay! <laughs> all right, that's all the stars taken care of in this area. You must yearn for a better world. Yearn for it with such intensity that your heart suffers. Keep your eyes on that distant vision even when you know that you may never reach it. Let's go and do that triangle puzzle now. Devices such as this one were commonly used to play games in public fora. This particular unit allowed users to play Serious Sam, <laughs> well regarded but less known follow-up to Crow Team's hugely popular football glory series. <laughs> Great machine. Okay, that's the arcade machine. That's funny. So that's the second serious Sam Easter we've seen so far, that I've been aware of anyway. Triangle puzzle stowaway. Ooh, interesting. Whee! <laughs> That's very specifically set up. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, I 
doesn't want us to place it on the edge, even though that would totally work. Hey, they were careful with this one. Oh, oh. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's not happening. Hmm. Yeah, the angle is quite specific. It has to go through the box somehow. Well. Or does it? Oh, I thought that would take it with me. Maybe I need to place it lower? Hmm... Maybe I need to put it on the box. I just can climb the ladder. Okay. We're good. Oh, we're over an hour. I forgot. Oops. Right. There we go. <laughs> oh, yes. Alright. That's how we get the grab shifter across. I think that might work now. Ooh, but... No! No! I messed up! Oh no, I, I can just climb the ladder. <laughs> yeah, here we go. There we go. Problem solved. Also, I can just do like this, right? Wow, that actually works. <laughs> There's a wall in the way, but it still works. Interesting. Ooh. Oh? So this is still not it, then. If not this, then what? Oopsie. It's just not gonna work, I suppose. Wait. No, that's not. Yeah, okay, that's not. It's just this one. Yeah, it's definitely not intended to work that way. 
They made sure of that. Well, I am perplex Ed. is too far away, like, even if this is on top of the box, it's not gonna help, really. I mean, it's worth a try, but I don't think it's gonna help at all. Maybe? Oh, I need to put this back. Wait, do I just... Do I just need it for that, or...? Um... No, because that satellite is not gonna work, right? Yeah, not working. Now it's also not working. Although it's working better than I expected, to be honest. Yeah, that's about what I expected, honestly. Missing. Like, I've got everything up here. Except for the... THE FAN! But how do I get the fan up here, though? How do I get the fan up here, though? This place is as low as it can go. Maybe we can jump into it with the box? Hey, 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 that's what it is. Okay. You got me, game. You got me real good. There we go. All right. That was really kind of excellent. Thanks, Melville. And thank you for watching. I will see y'all in the next episode. Goodbye. Thank you.